before we start, if you like this portion of the show, if you would just push share and write a little blurb about come draw with me or something, because I think this is a part of the show that really stands apart um, to other people's, you know, productions out there. And I think uh, we've been talking about it's like Bob Ross meets Willy Wonka over here. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I think, you know, it's fun to see what you guys come up with with your drawings. So if you would push share, that would be awesome. Okay. Meanwhile, if you've got your pencils, yes. markers, crayons ready. ready, let's do this. Um, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to tell you what I'm going to have you draw tonight. Although if you watch the show, you probably have a pretty good hint. <laughs> but what we're going to do first is we're going to start with four um, lines slightly askew. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's going to look like this. And they're going to be the same length. And you want to kind of spread them out about evenly distanced apart. Something like that. They don't have to be perfectly straight. It's actually better if they're not. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four additional lines in between the other lines, but they'll be shorter. Mm. Okay. So it's going to look like this. So you just kind of divide the space with a shorter line. And I'm still going to do four, so I'm going to put this one at the very top, okay? Hmm. Now I'm going to draw a straight line at the very bottom across like that. And then I'm just going to kind of create a little long um, rounded rectangle there, okay? Hmm. And then we'll draw two edges down like this. And then I'm going to draw another line to connect them, but I'm going to make it slightly curved. And this little slight curve is what is going to give it a three-dimensional effect. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do the next same thing with two um, sides, straight lines on the sides. I'm going to do the same uh, curve at the bottom, give it a little bit of a rounded feel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create little lines down here. Again, keeping with this sort of rounded line, giving that three-dimensional feel, and then a couple lines up and down to make this sort of checkerboard pattern, hmm. okay? All right, now's the fun part. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect these uh, four little lines uh, that we drew with uh, little round curves. So watch, I'm gonna start up here, and I'm gonna curve it down like that, and I'm gonna curve it around mm -hmm. the big line. And I'm going to do the same thing over here hmm. and the same thing here. And then I'm just going to bring this one down here. And I'm going to just do the same thing on this side, closing off these edges. And then I bring that all the way down. And then this is the fun part is to make this little wave at the top. It's kind of like a little S curve. And then tuck it down and bring it down. And there's your little That's DQ nice, swirl there. Right? Okay. And then we got to have a little, mm -hmm. little face the on this guy. classic smile. Now, what's yep. kind of cool about this is we'll do like a cone um, color here. We'll do that. And mm -hmm. I'm going to color this in. <laughs> It's right. so cute. Got any um any comments, Kim, or people busy drawing? Well, maybe? And when I uh yeah, I think a lot of drawing is happening, but there were a lot of folks talking about how they like to share this part of the show. So that's pretty awesome. So thank yeah. you, Christy and Barb and Helen shared it right away. So thank you for doing that. Yeah. Um and we always have this on replay too, in fact, in segments. So there's a whole little section of our YouTube channel that is just let's draw. And you can just watch all the drawing ones if you uh get in the mood or get the yeah. right markers or materials that you want to play with. Make little cheeks. Now what's cool about this um, soft serve dude here <laughs> is because it, it looks like we really do have quite a, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter, quite a representation of chocolate versus vanilla as you can make it swirl. Ooh. And so if you just color in every other one. That's cool. Like this. Nice. That is so cute. It's little ice cream. <laughs> right? And this was kind of fun today because I was like... How am I going to simplify this? <clears throat> yeah, I'm yeah, like, how can I, I make this to be right. something that could you could actually draw? 
and uh, explain. I think it turned yeah. out pretty good. Barb says, I love that magical moment when the picture just jumps out at you. Like for this ice cream cone, it was the moment of connecting the lines on each of the sides of the swirl. Simply magical. Yeah, yeah. yeah but totally, Barb. I agree. All right. And then, so of course, yummy. what I love, my favorite part is when you guys send in your drawings, <clears throat> is there the little, little extra pieces and adjustments you make? Because, of course, this is art. This is the Bob Ross part. Is This is your... This is your little cone. And <laughs> Happy little cone. It's however you want to make it. And so if you want to put little, you know, sprinkles on here. This reminds me of when we were little kids. We oh, would I know go. What you're gonna say. We had a station wagon and <laughs> we'd go for, for rides to get ice cream. <laughs> and I would get what I called twinkle coat. Twinkle coat. I don't know if that's really what it's called. That's what I called it, but it was basically sprinkles and peanuts um, mixed in on top of the the cone. And oh man, I loved it. But the <laughs> funny thing is, is we would eat it, and all the pieces would fall up, fall down, and so then the whole back of the <laughs> station wagon would be filled with peanuts and sprinkles. And I may have eaten them. Days later, later yeah, you well, know, you, like you're you a little know, kid, I'm not gonna judge. Pick it out, so. right? <laughs> so there you go. There's your little, um, little cone. Now let's let's add a little extra flourish. Now this will depend on what kind of media you're media you're using, but if you take a color that's a little bit lighter than the cone and put a little line under it like that in the bottom left, mm -hmm. and then you do the same thing. It kind of looks like an indentation. Oh, that's cool. So that, that's kind of the highlight catching on the um, the rim. Um, so it makes it look, again, three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. And I might add a little little highlight here. With the... I love those sprinkles. That's, you know, it's so funny. Um, you primarily put the sprinkles on the brown parts. I mean, a little bit on the vanilla, too. But it's just funny that, obviously, it makes it pop more. <clears throat> yeah, it just it depends there. on the, right. the colors that I was right. using. So. Right. so there you go. There is a uh, happy soft serve cone. <laughs> happy which, little cone. you know, it's not meat like last week. But we got this. We got dessert <laughs> this week. So.